If you want to support the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you. What's up everybody, Tricks Ridiculous back with another video and I've got my new Captain Boomerang traversal build here for you guys. This is a really fun build, super easy to play, super fun, super safe, and can really push some pretty high mastery uh, difficulties. You could definitely get this up into the 60s, even into the 70s if you're really going crazy and really steamrolling. Um, it's not going to be something like, you know, burn that just goes up to 200, um, but that wasn't intentional anyway. So after they nerfed the burn meta, I think this is going to be one of the better builds. Um, it is extremely safe. It's pretty much invincible all the time. Uh, so the only thing you could really fail an incursion to is either just the objective uh, or the the time limit. If enemies are just simply too strong, you're you're not going to die. You're not going to just go down. You know any of that. It's possible that you know enemy health scaling around maybe like the mid 70s uh, will definitely be quite a bit they will be very tanky at that point but this is just a really fun build and even if you're just casually grinding in the 50s uh, just looking for loot and gear um, this is a super low-key chill build you really can't go wrong with so i'm going to just kind of go through the gear go through what we're using and kind of how the build works and then i'll leave you with some gameplay before we jump into it be sure to like and subscribe for more Suicide Squad endgame content. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump right in. So really the thing about this build is it's based around Boomerang's traversal attack. So the speedster's surprise, that's kind of that ping pong around, right? And basically it's mostly revolving around a tier three Bane set, right? So uh, for the Bane set, we're using just a pain machine. We don't ever actually shoot this gun. Um, it's really just there for the set bonus same thing with the grenade here uh, which we have with diablo blaze um, and then we've just got a titan's tolerance as the neck bomb um, so really what we're going to be doing here is essentially getting back our traversal attack instantaneously and every time we hit enemies with traversal attack they become crazed um, so what we're doing how we're kind of doing all this our primary weapon is going to be the stacked deck as a shotgun so this is what I have here it's called the downsizer it's just a naming convention issue um, but you might see this gun called the stacked deck um, you can get it in a variety of formats basically its damage is reduced by 50% but each successive hit on an enemy with this firearm causes it to take 15% more damage from all sources for 10 seconds up to a maximum of 750. Um, so this is what we're going to be using primarily. And that epic perk that we have on it is really the bread and butter here. So 3% traversal attack resource from critical hits. Now we're going to be stacking quite a bit of crit on this build. So we will be critting pretty much all the time. You'll see how in just a second. Uh, but basically after we do our traversal attack, we essentially fire one maybe two shots out of this shotgun and we will have our traversal attack back and you'll see in the gameplay exactly how that works so every time you have your traversal attack you want to just be spamming it off cooldown it's going to be our primary source of damage um the downsides are here really just an the best weapon to kind of get it back quickly and also this weapon's perk is just the icing on top of the cake especially for larger health enemies like brutes things like that um, we'll be able to quickly and easily dispatch them um, so for you know the perks on this you just want crit hit crit hit damage and then again that percentage traversal attack resource from critical hits very crucial uh, this one, we don't really use this, so the stats on here don't actually matter, um, but the most important thing is just to have that extra 50% damage to infused enemies um, and just make sure it's a tier 3. If you want to use um, the sniper rifle, that could be okay too. Um, it really doesn't matter. Just just using this piece to get that tier 3 set bonus um, and then kind of having that damage to infused enemies because that is a global buff. Uh, coming over here, we're using the sugar glider here. This You can also see this called the half vester. Um, but basically, this one has shield harvesting an enemy that's below 50% health, instantly kills it, and deals 25% of its max health as damage to enemies within 10 meters. What you'll notice with this build is that 
we get a lot of enemies into shield harvest territory and boomerang has probably the best shield harvest in the game he can shield harvest from a very far distance away um definitely so much so that you don't have to worry about the boom modifier um unless you're actually on top of a guy but just be aware of that right um but you can definitely safely uh shield harvest from very far away and boomer has a lot of perks especially because we're using a shotgun a lot of enemies you'll notice literally one shot from this shotgun and they will become shield harvestable all right so you'll notice the way this build kind of all plays together is we've got a lot of damage um and extra extra effects happening while our shield is full and that is by design and you'll see how we're able to maintain that but a big part of that is due to shield harvesting um and especially paired with the downsizer or i should say the stacked deck here um you know give enemy give any enemy even one hit from this every pellet gives them an extra 50 percent or excuse me 15 percent more damage from all sources and then you hit them with that uh that shield harvest after they've been you know susceptible to 750 percent more damage um especially with all the different melee perks which does stack towards shield harvest um i've seen you know shield harvests alone with this build hitting for five or six million um which in the grand scheme i know you've probably seen you know uh burn ticks ticking for 500 800 million but unrelated to that um, you know, having having melee uh, shield harvest hit for five to six million back to back to back, uh, definitely very strong. Uh, and then for the affliction here, we're using Diablo Blaze not because it's Diablo Blaze. Um, obviously, like we said, this is going to get nerfed, but we're probably still going to use it because it's really just the only affliction we want. We really don't need Live Wire Bolt um, because that is going to be, uh, you know. Uh, guaranteeing more crits doesn't matter because we already have so much high crit and few uh frozen damage doesn't really matter because we don't want to not crit um you could use crazed here but we are applying so much craze through our traversal attack anyway um that it really we don't really need more craze um so i'm going with diablo blaze on both of these just uh just to have it as kind of that additional source all right so coming over here this is really one of the kind of bread and butter pieces of the build so the turtle shell here basically when you hit at least one enemy with an advanced traversal attack you are immune to all damage for five seconds the duration is increased by two seconds for each enemy killed up to a maximum of 15 seconds now basically what this means every time you hit even just one enemy with your speedster surprise traversal attack you're going to be immune for five seconds and i can tell you and you'll see in the gameplay we're going to be getting our traversal attack back much much faster than every five seconds all right so theoretically we should be invincible all the time now i will just say this piece is a little glitchy it doesn't proc as often as you might think i don't think there's any type of internal cooldown on it but i think sometimes if you do traversal attacks too quickly it doesn't actually re-trigger that five seconds so you'll notice in gameplay that there are some times that i come out of a traversal attack and get hit by an enemy and it does actually do damage therefore proving that it doesn't work but you'll also see times in the gameplay where i do get hit by enemies and take no damage so it does work so it's hard to say i think it's just it's a little it's a little uh a little wonky works sometimes works other times but in general um it is the must have right because we're using our traversal attack so much this gives us as effectively and on paper what should be complete immunity um so really you know important to have to stay alive uh for the traversal mod we're using the turtle still force conduit this piece is just a really just a great piece um as, as long as we're moving we're going to get up to 250 percent more just global damage so that's really good and i apologize i'll go over the actual uh stats here so just some extra crit hit chance a little traversal attack resource generation and then extra damage while shield is at 100 percent. now you could use something like damage to crazed because of course we are going to be crazing people that we hit with our traversal attack i personally like the shield at 100 because it's a more global effect it also works when you're not obviously not uh, crazy enemies which of course you know a lot of people don't understand or at least don't think about this but when you craze an enemy the downside to craze is that the enemy has a much higher health right they get in significantly increased health so 
even though you're doing more damage to crazed you're still having to deal with a much larger health bar enemy so it not to say it completely balances out but it's certainly something to think about so having this being able to do damage to enemies that are not crazed and still getting that damage boost is going to be really nice and like i said we're going to be shield harvesting a lot so our shield is going to be at 100 or overcharged pretty much all the time and with the turtle shell perk we should not in theory be taking too much damage at all so we should never really lose that shield overcharge all right um and then over here you know for the traversal mod uh, 15% of speeds for surprise damage applied to enemies within 10 meters. So basically just spreads even more of that damage and just kind of doubles down on, on all enemies there. Um, little extra traversal attack for melee hits and then uh, damage to enemies that are within 5 meters of you. Of course, we're going to be right on top of them with our uh, traversal attack. So that's where that goes. Uh, coming over here to Titan's Tolerance, so 15% electric resistance, very important, just f in general for most builds, um, electric resistance will give you a chance to ignore either like those little lightning spots that appear on the ground or the sniper shots that make it so you can't use your traversal. Um, stacking as much electrified resistance is very important um, for that. Uh, squad ultimate resource from enemy kills. This is just a, a tricks preference. You can really go with whatever you want here. I personally like using squad ultimate. I, I tend to use it pretty much on cooldown. Um, and you'll see in the talents, we do get a, a massive bonus to our speedster surprise while we're in squad ultimate. So it is very important um, to, to kind of keep that up as much as we can. Um, so that's why even a small investment like 4%, um, squad ult from enemy kills is enough to really make sure you can get it off cooldown pretty quickly. Um, and then we're going to be using Jinx's Lucky Charm. Um, this really uh, a staple for any elemental builds at all. Uh, but of course, because we're crazing and doing damage to crazed, uh, this is just a must have. Uh, for the perks here, 4% ammo from critical hits. So this might seem like an odd one, but like we said, we're going to be critting pretty much all the time. So even just a small investment into one green perk here uh, will actually guarantee that we are able to use our shotgun entirely. Uh, be like I said, you'll notice in the gameplay, pretty much every bullet I shoot is going to be a critical hit. Um, so that'll just ensure that we never have to switch off the shotgun and we never have to go out of our way to pick up ammo. It'll always be topped off just from that. Um, again, more electric resistance so we don't lose our traversal. And then 45% uh, crit hit chance when shield is overcharged. So like I said before, uh, really, we're going to keep our shield up. We're going to keep it overcharged because of our... Uh, invincibility so getting that extra near 50% crit hit chance is absolutely huge again really going to make sure that we crit pretty much all the time and then constantly get our traversal attack back um, so that's pretty much it for the gear coming over to the talents I don't have I'm not going to go through these one by one but the important things to have are um, definitely things like this one right here uh, speeds just hard knock so critical hits generate one percent speeds for surprise so we already have three percent on our shotgun this turns it up to four percent um, and then pair that with a little bit of you know just general regeneration and like i said you'll notice literally one to maybe two shots sometimes um, and we'll be getting our speeds for surprise back and keep in mind we also get not that this happens too often but any enemy that we actually kill with the uh, traversal attack we get ten percent Right, so most of the time you'll come out of your traversal attack with probably about a half a bar, maybe a little less or, or more than half a bar, and then one, possibly two shots, you'll get the whole thing back. So it's literally, the, the crux of the build is literally just traversal attack, shotgun shot, traversal attack, shotgun shot, back and forth and back and forth, and then occasionally mixing in uh, a shield harvest here and there. All right. Um, but other than that, that's really it. You can just take a screenshot of this. Uh, but the important things to have here, you really can just go all out, in my opinion, with damage. You don't really need to worry about any type of defensive perks here, because like I said, uh, we're going to be pretty much invincible due to the turtle shield. Um, so you just want, you know, more speeds for surprise while in ultimate, you know, more speeds for surprise damage. You want the trickster so that even though you take more damage, you do more damage, but it's not going to matter because we're going to be invincible. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go crazy here. And then 
in the squad points, what you really want is just more crit hit chance just to make sure you're topped off. Uh, obviously, traversal attack damage and then a little bit of damage to crazed enemies. Um, and that should be good for you. But like I said, this build really, really fun. Um, honestly, just super, super strong for just like right in that 50 to 60 sweet spot and just a very casual farmer. Like, like I said, if you try this build out, you will just be having an absolute blast and you will not be stressing one bit about the seasonal modifiers about the enemies you know killing you anything like that super chill super fun build definitely give it a go let me know how it works out for you um, but that is pretty much it let me know down in the comments uh, what you think of this build uh, or how your build in your captain boomerang i'd love to hear it um, but that is it for me guys i will leave you with some gameplay take it easy